Europe needs two victories in one year. That's according to the president of Portugal. The first one is peace in Ukraine. The other is defeating populism in next year's European elections. Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa was speaking to MEPs in Strasbourg on Wednesday, where he said that EU leaders must anticipate solutions rather than just reacting to crises. One of these solutions is signing new political and trade agreements around the world. The Union Europea can not forget or be congelated by egoism, futiles, parcerias and agreements with continents fundamental for her, like Africa, like America Latina, in some aspects with Asia. She can not adhere to what que a prazo só criará problemas nas migrações e na compreensão do peso da Europa no mundo. Os egoísmos nacionais têm de ceder perante os valores da União Europeia. EU election dates were also up for discussion, and the challenge of convincing people to go to their polling stations will be key. For now, the election date will fall on a weekend just before a national holiday, with many preferring leisure activities instead of voting. Celebrating its national day on the 10th of June, Portugal is the only member state opposed to the proposed date at the beginning of June next year. But European Parliament President Roberta Metzola says she's willing to help get the necessary consensus. I know that this is not an ideal um, weekend for Portugal. I know that this is an issue that is in several countries. Every weekend presents a particular uh, difficulty, so what we will have to do while we are still waiting for official confirmation of the date is to encourage as many people to vote. If there is no unanimous agreement on another date, Portugal may change its tradition of Sunday elections and use the possibility of an early vote.